Well, I said I'd pause the video. Some idiot has fitted these lights, not beside the path, on the path. So I fell over this here. Look, there's the results. Fell over one of those because they've stuck them in the path like a bunch of imbeciles. What's wrong with putting them at the side? I won't be the first person that's fallen over those. There you go. That's city people, city architects for you and the council. Uh, thank you for bashing my hands and knees. That's been really kind of you. Anyway, it uh, turned the, the video off because we went down with a bit of a crash. Now we uh, are going on. We've got to go up the steps here and then we're going to go... Well, I'm hoping we can go across the top here. Lots of lovely broken grass and old pieces of rubbish here. Fabulous, isn't it? Oh, and an old battery. Yes, there we are. Yes, it's nice, isn't it? With, you know, the scenery you can see and the scenery you don't want to see. I don't know what those gardens are there. Oh, look at that. That's special, isn't it? Uh, it might give a bad impression of Coventry, but overall it's a lovely, lovely city. But there are places where certain people go and hang out and break glass, etc, etc. So, look at that lovely magnolia. We'll leave all that now, shall we? This is the Lady Herbert's garden, and you can see there the ancient city wall. So now I'm going to go across the... across the walkway. You can see the bus station over there. We can see two of the three spires. Oh, my hand is hurting. We're going up and over the, up and over the wall. And then we'll be able to look down into Lady Herbert's garden. Oh. Look. Yeah, it's not so good. You can see the ancient wall there. <laughs> Lots of young ladies just coming out of school or something there. Look at this tree, isn't that gorgeous? I don't know what sort it is, some sort of fur, isn't it? It's very nice. And there's that lovely millennium what have you. <laughs> And there's the gatehouse, or whatever it is. There you can see the pond down there in Lady Herbert's garden. We're up amongst the trees now. Wow, look at him. What a beaut. Some lovely red flowers down there, look. I don't know if they're azalea or what they are. Ah, there's all those buildings we were talking about. Look, all of those there, ones above this house, are all new, uh, are all student flats. My hand is hurting quite a bit. Poor old boy. I like that tree at the back there. Look at those colors on that. Oranges and yellows, look at that. Isn't that nice? Right. Well, we've, we're going down our walkway. And there's the Coventry Transport Museum again. We're going round a twirl here. Look. Whee! Be good on a roller skate, wouldn't it? If you could break at the bottom. Yes, people are sitting outside eating at the... Uh, but the doors are shut. So, here we go. We're going to go up between those two pieces over there where they land on those, that wall over there. We're going over there and um, we'll go up towards Trinity. And then we're going to, I'm going to walk out to uh, see uh, my friend's shop, Joker's Corner. Where you can get lots of hair colour, face paint, and oh, and and various um, 
items for dressing up in all sorts of party outfits and what have you. So here we go. Now I think we'll go down these steps rather than go all the way down the Right, now, I'm going to go across here. Now, this is a clock, believe it or not. Believe it or not, it's a clock. There's lots of little things here. I don't know what they are. They might have been lost ships in the war or something. I don't know. It's a nice view of the Transport Museum. I can't wait to get back in there actually and have a, a look round. I have done a few pictures, videos in there. We're going to apparently go all electric our buses. Um, it's what I heard anyway. Do you know there are times when I wished I hadn't fallen over those lights I suppose the designer would argue you need to look where you're going. My wife would say that. There, Frank Whittle. And of course he uh, invented the Frank Whittle, I believe, invented the jet engine. That's nice, isn't it, when you think that is just a, a bus station. It's a nice entrance. I think this is one of the zero emission, yeah, but... The grey bus, you can't hear it coming. It just hums its way round. Sadly, a year or two ago, somebody was killed when a, a bus driver, well, you could call him a bus driver, he drove into the front of this uh, Sainsbury's and I think there was somebody got killed, sadly. Um... Shall I go up here or shall I go this way round? No, I might go this way round and then go up under the... up by the cathedral. Pool Meadow Bus Station. I'm going to stop here until we get closer to the museum, hoping I don't fall down. OK, thank you. Back with you in a moment. So we're resuming now. We're getting close to the um, cathedral. You can see Trinity steeple through there. The spire for Trinity. And we're going across some green, a bit of a green, and we're going up by the cathedral. Environmental improvements, yep. You get a lot of those from the EU, and not anymore. But uh, there's the cathedral. We go up the steps. There's one of the chapels. Yes, I did take quite a blunder just now over one of the lights that were stuck up in the pathway. Why they couldn't have done what lots of people had done, put them on a little post with the light shining onto the pathway, I really don't know. You don't often look down where your feet are. You look ahead of yourself. So, anyway, be that as it may. Looks like they're doing some work on it here. <laughs> 